The last thing to do before we move on to texturing is to bake the occlusion and normal maps uh, in Xnormal. Xnormal is a free tool that you can just Google up and uh, download. What we need to do is uh, first import the high poly object. Here I did wrong, I imported the 3DS, uh, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, and add my high poly OBJ model. Go to low poly, and I have some old stuff lying here, so I'm just going to remove that. And add the low poly OBJ. Okay. Check your scaling, that it's all one to one. It's all okay. Now, next thing you have to go to tools and ray distance calculator and let it run for a bit. Uh, basically, it optimizes the amount of uh, uh, the amount of units the rays have to travel before they finish. <coughs> this really speeds up the calculation, makes the result look much better. Once you let it run for about 25 seconds, stop, copy results, and you can close this. Uh, the results were copied into the low definition mesh uh, calculation sheet. So, I'm going to give it a path. Uh, I don't have to put uh, normal or diffuse in the back, it will add automatically depending on the types of maps you have uh, checked off. And once you've done that, just Click bake and it will do the rest by itself. Very simple, really. And once it's done, I check my folder. I'll open up text views, so that's what I used to preview TGA uh, textures. Go open up and drag just to have a look at the occlusion map real quick and the normal map. You can really see some of the details there. <coughs> and I want to take a look whether I'll have to fix up the occlusion map, which in this case looks like I won't. <coughs> 